So me being the toad I am, I literally forgot to film an intro. So basically this video is just a tutorial on how to do eyeshadow like this. I will only be showing you how to do eyeshadow today, nothing else. So keep on watching if you want to learn how to get some lemony, limey eyes. Okay, so to achieve this look, I used three different palettes. And I used the Afrique by Juvia's Place. I also used the Subculture palette. And this peanut butter palette by Makeup Revolution. Um, you do not have to be a crazy psychopath like me and use three palettes, but this is just what I do and to achieve this look. So let's get going. Okay, so we first want to lay the yellow base. Um, in the picture that I will be adding, we want there is yellow above before any of the green. So I'm gonna be taking the color Aya in the Juvia's Place palette first because it is the lightest and brightest yellow that I have and we're gonna be putting it in the crease. I'm gonna zoom in as much as possible so you guys can see and I'm looking down into a mirror. Oh my god. Sorry if my camera's overexposing, I just want like a decent lighting. So as you can see, it's not too much, but it's enough to set a yellow base. So next, I'm going to be taking the um, peanut butter palette and using the color Honey and just going over that. This one's a little more yellow versus bright. I'm just running that over with... Oh, just using a regular blending brush. Um, you can use whatever preference of brushes you want. And you also don't have to use three palettes because that could get a little excessive. Just find whatever dupes that you would like for this. Next I'm going to be taking this blending brush, which is a different one, and I'm going to be taking the color New Wave and Edge and mixing them together to make the yellow a little darker. Yes, it looks like there is a lot of yellow, but it's going to look better when we're done. I'm also looking over here because there is a mirror over here. So now it looks a little bit of a darker yellow, almost orangey. Okay, so now I'm taking the color uh, Kissy, I think, or Kisi. I don't know how to say that. And I'm going to be putting that into the crease with the same brush that I used before. You want to, like, put it right in the crease, too. I don't really get it in there because this is... Okay, so I would just also like to apologize for this lighting. Um, I try to get good lighting or better lighting for this video and it didn't seem to work out. But you, basically I'm just blending brown into the crease if you can't see it that well. I think I already said that, but just to be sure. Okay, so I'm going to take the color Mercury from this palette, from the Subcolor palette with one of these like flat round brushes whatever the fuck they're called and I'm just going to put that more on the outer corner here so you guys can't see that good I'm just rubbing gently because I want the pigment but I don't want it to be too blended quite yet I'm gonna take this uh, blending brush right here the end of the blending well the blending end of this brush and just blend it out a little bit okay so now we get into the fun part of adding the green so what I like to do is take this angled brush just any angled brush you have and I'm going to be using the um, makeup revolution foundation stick in f2 and just cutting it out. You don't have to do this, this is completely optional, but I think that it gives a little more pigment. And I'm just cutting out a dome. And then I'm going to blend it in a little with my fingers. This fat brush right here, um, this is a high, technically a highlighter brush. I don't use it for highlight at all. And I'm going to take the color Niger in green, this bright green, and I'm going to pack it on the outside. 
and I'm just going to pat it down because we're not really going to be blending the green. It's so mostly just layering it. Okay. And then in the front too. You want to leave a portion in the middle of your eye that isn't colored in green. If you do, it's perfectly fine. But, you know, because we're going to cut it out anyway, but it's just easier if you do it like this. I'm take another one of these flat rounder brushes and I'm going to take the Subcolor palette again and do the color Destiny first. I don't know if you can really see that. It's more of like a grayish green. Okay, so some the outer portions of this green. And same thing for the inside of uh, this one. And then I like to connect it in the middle so that the crease gets a little bit of the green, but still leaving a gap in the middle. Okay, then I'm gonna use the color Untamed, which is a little darker, with the same brush and going in even on a really outer portion of both. But ultimately though, I do want the brighter green to be shown. So I'm gonna take Niger again with a flat brush and just pat over this. So the blend is still there a little, but I'll be brighter. Now you're probably thinking this looks like shit right now. Yeah, it does. But you know what? We're gonna fix it, hopefully. I don't know what the frick is going on right here. Guys, I'm not a beauty guru. I don't, you know, I don't know what I'm doing. I like to pretend I do, but I don't. I really don't. So before we go in the middle, I'm going to take the same new wave and edge and I'm going to mix those together and just add it back at the top. This, this light is shit. Yeah, it's better. No, it's not because. Hold on. Okay, that should help at least a little bit. So now you can see that it's yellow and then the green on the outer portions of the eye. So to achieve the halo in the middle, we're going to be using that same angled brush that we used before with the same foundation. You guys don't have to use foundation, I just use it because it's easier for me. Um, but you could definitely use concealer, whatever you want. And what I'm going to do, so I'm going to put it up here, and then I'm going to roll my eye back so I can tell where the line is supposed to go. And just fill in the middle. So it looks like a big mess right now. But we're going to fix it. Once again, I'm going to take the Niger again with a flat brush and clean it up. So it almost kind of looks like a mushroom. If that's anything you want to compare to. <laughs> Okay, so now we have to start putting yellows in the middle. So with a different flash, flat, flash, <laughs> flat brush and the color Aya, I'm gonna take and put that right in the middle. And I might even go in with my finger to really make sure that the color is laid out properly because you want it to be bright. The whole, whole name of the look is lemon lime. Okay, and it should look like that. So before we even, you know, finish off the look, I'm gonna take a blending brush with this color that we used earlier, Kissy or Kissy, whatever. I'm sorry, I can't pronounce anything. And I just blend it back into the crease. And then we're going to take the angle brush again. It's a lot of using concealer. And just clean up. A lot of people like to use tape. I like to cut it out with my foundation. And then we're gonna put, I'm gonna put a little bit in the inner corner because we're going to add a little to the inner corner. Now, for the look on Instagram, I did take Electric in the Subculture palette. And with my finger, I just put it right on the middle. Um, if you don't want sparkles, you can definitely just leave it with the matte yellow. Um, I just thought it would look kind of neat. So for the inner corner though, I'm going to be taking the NYX Milk Pencil and just putting it in the inner corner. 
because this is going to make the and I'm gonna put it up here too. It's just going to make everything pop out what we put on there. So I'm gonna take Aya again with the flat brush and I'm going to put it in the inner corner. So it looks like that. And then I didn't do this on my Instagram, but it might be cool if I put some yellow underneath here too. Okay. So I'm gonna go do the other eye off camera and I will be back. Okay guys, so I finished the rest of this lovely look. Um, I put eyelashes on. I also put green under my lash line. I have that highlight on, you know. And then I use the plumping serum uh, volumizing lip gloss by Hard Candy in the shade Sunkissed pretty good my lips are burning as we speak so that's <laughs> pretty nice all right guys so i hope you enjoyed this video it was a pretty short tutorial um and it's not that hard to do um, you guys can obviously change the look however you want. And you don't have to use three palettes like I did. You can always use palettes that are similar in shades. But I will put everything that I use in the description box. Um, so if you want to buy those palettes or if you want to buy, you know, the stuff that I put on my face, like the lip gloss, I will put it down below. But thank you all for watching. Um, hit that like button and subscribe for more lovely content. Alright guys, I'll see you soon. Bye!